Welcome folks. So in the prior video, I described many properties that a group isomorphism preserves. So let me list some ways that you could show that two groups are not isomorphic. All right, so you can show two groups G and H are not isomorphic by really just observing any one of the following. So um, the size of G is not equal to the size of H. Okay. So if two groups have different sizes then they're definitely not isomorphic. You can't even find a bijection or a one-to-one -one and onto function between them. Okay. So what if G is cyclic generated by one of its elements, but H is not? Then they're certainly not isomorphic. You know, maybe G is abelian, but H is not. Definitely not isomorphic. Um, maybe the order of, of some element in a group G. So remember the order is how many times you have to add that element to itself until you get to the identity. So the, so the order of some element is um, different. Then the order of any element H in our other group. So if, if the groups don't have um, sort of matching orders for all of their elements, you know, maybe one group has an element of order seven, but the other group doesn't, then they're definitely not isomorphic groups. Okay, so let me do an example of this. I'm not going to go into all the details of this example, but just to give you an idea. So Z mod 12Z, so the numbers from zero up to 11 added modulo 12. D6, so D6 is the um, group of symmetries, rotations, and reflections of the regular hexagon. Okay. So all six rotations and all six flips. And A4, this is the alternating group um, for permutations from four elements to itself. These all have size 12. Okay, right? The numbers from zero up to 11, that's 12 different numbers. D6 has six rotations and six flips. A4, so S4, all permutations from a set of size four to itself has four factorial elements. Four factorial is four times three times two, which is 24. So A4, the even permutations is half that. So A4 is half the size of 24, which is 12. So they all have size 12, but, um, the largest order element in uh, Z12 is 12. You have to add one to itself 12 times to get back to zero. Um, and the largest order element in D6 is six. So any, uh, you know, the rotation by one six of the way around, that's an element that has order six. All of the rotations have order at most six. And then the flips all have order two, because if you do, do any flip twice, you just get back to where it started. And the largest order element in A4, it turns out is three. And I won't say anything more about that in this video. But we can therefore conclude 
so no two of these groups are isomorphic. Sure, they have the same size, so they might be isomorphic. Size alone doesn't rule that out, but look at the orders of the elements. In Z mod 12 Z, the largest order element you can find has order 12. In D6, the largest order element you can find has order six. And in A4, the largest order element you can find is order three. And that's enough to, to just give you immediately that they're not isomorphic. Public questions? All right. Thanks, folks.